Hello everybody, this is TechCut. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a piece of software called Darktable. Now what this is, is a piece of software just like Photoshop's Lightroom, in which it helps you organize and do some core editing of some of the photographs. Now I'm not a expert on this kind of software, but I, I run a small business, so I use it for certain graphic work, um, color corrections, cropping, and things of that nature. Um, I'm not going to be able to go over every single feature because I'm not as educated in the software, but if you go on their website you can see all the features that they offer for you, and they do have this for most versions of Linux as well as Windows. So it is a very, very good alternative if you're looking for a free, simple, open source piece of software. So getting right into it, I'm going to go to Darktable. The software is pretty straightforward to use, so if you want to import a certain image, folder, or you can scan uh, entire devices, import from camera, and there's many other organizational features such as star ratings, uh, colors, you can do the mess with the zoom, there's all kinds of things going on here. But what I'm going to do is, as an example, I'm going to be going over this image right here. So it's just a simple picture of some windows. You can tell it's a little dark. Uh, some of the colors aren't popping. So I'm going to try to fix this up real quick. You can drag this scale just to mess with the overall brightness. Like I said, I'm not too good with light work, I mean light room, but if you are, you know, you're going to know exactly what to do jumping into the software. Um, right here are all the general categories. So we are going to go to the basic group and this is where you can mess with your uh, crops, your general highlights and shadows. So we're going to go in here and as you can see there's so many different options. Uh, I'm going to mess with shadows a bit. Let's take some of that away. Dun, dun, dun. And you can really really make some good looking photos in here. I'm going to go to the color correction and I'm going to make this image a little warmer. Actually, let's make it a little cooler. But as you can see, you could go all the way up. You could be dramatic with it. You could add tints. But I'm going to make this image a little cooler. And then that's the color correction. You could do the monochrome. There's all kinds of options. And I'm going to brighten it up a bit with this. Dun, dun, dun. Right about there. All right, and right here, if you select down, you can see the all the options you have here. You have your curve charts, so you can start playing around with those. So you could completely blow it out if you want to, but I'm actually going to go down a little bit and then bring this up, just like let's go right now, right there. All right. And like I said, I'm not going to be able to go over every single because there's really just so much in this software that you can mess around with and really make it make it look good. You're kind of I'm kind of going th flipping through everything real quick so I can give a general idea of what's going on. You can mess with the exposure after the fact, which is very very nice if you have a DSLR and you just want to mess with things. See, look, you can completely bring down the exposure. You can completely blow it out of proportion to the point where you're getting that uh, 2002 color flip effect that everybody so much desires. And one of the things I really like about this is the crop and rotate because a lot of these images that I use are going to end up going on um, either Facebook, some sort of ad platform. So you want a really precise cropping so you go to the aspect and then here you have a ton of options to pick an exact aspect ratio so you can have it fit into any situation you can use them and export it into videos but for example if you're preparing a picture for Instagram you could hit square and then line it out perfectly how you want it and then if you want to you can manually crop it from here just by dragging the edges and that's really what I'm going to go over for now. You can do other things like you can edit the tagging. Um, you could get a good overview of the in image information. Um, 
yeah there's just so much you take snapshots if you go into the history you can see all the edits you've made on the photo whenever you're editing anything in the software it saves it in the software and it doesn't mess with the original file until you want to export it now there's one last edit I'm gonna make to this really quick which will be there it is so we're gonna go to gradient I'm gonna add a mess with this a bit let's go up here actually and this one I think right this right here is kind of my favorite it really you can make some awesome looking effects with this right here add some shadows around it and you can mess with the scale like you saw I was using these toggles or the sliding bars uh, you can mess with the brightness of it so you can make that real dark uh, bump up the saturation a bit and then you change the shape of it so if you go down it turns into like a diamond go out and it's just full out and yeah I think this will be good for now I'm gonna export the photograph so to do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the light table right now we're in the dark room whenever you're messing with the picture that's what they call it um, before I go over there under other you can uh, map print have some options there if you go to print it will show up as it will print and then you have some uh, detailed settings more than you'd get in any uh, system dialogue on printing but we want to export this photo so I'm gonna go to the light table as you can see it's fairly edited here but if I go into my files and go into pictures Couve clean raw which is my business name and then you'll get some of these temp files but as you can see the um, main picture is not being changed and it made a backup as well um, so let's export this photograph so what you do is you go down to it and it's as simple as um, make sure it's selected so you can see the photos I have selected uh, get out of here select this one and then over here it is export selected so it's already selected but you have a lot of other options here you have the selecting you could do styles through here uh, edit the metadata but we want to export this and you can change your directories you have all sorts of settings here but I'm just going to export it as it is and this is exporting one exported so if I go ahead and close this down as you can see I have my file here so open it up and we're looking good it's not actually looking good because I was just playing with all the dials but you get the general point uh, thank you for watching that is a general overview of the software like I said if you are proficient in Photoshop or the Photoshop suite that this is being an alternate of you should be fairly proficient in this as many of the options are pretty straightforward if you have no idea how to use this software like I do <laughs> It, it's pretty easy to learn you just play around with it for a couple 30 minutes to an hour you'll have a pretty good understanding of everything that's going on so thank you for watching I hope you have a great day please comment rate and subscribe and goodbye